Creepy clown faces are popping up everywhere, even one at a Williston school this week. Police say a teenager was sighted after wearing this mask banging on classroom windows. It's completely disheartening. Troy Wonderlay is a professional clown. He travels to New England schools teaching kids the tricks of the trade through Wonderlay's big top adventures. More than anything else, I think at the heart of clowning is that exact word, heart. Um, a clown has to understand not only themselves, but themselves within their environment. With Halloween right around the corner, Wonderlay says it's a tough time to be a clown. You can go into any store and buy Halloween costumes, and there are many clown costumes. The ones that are supposed to be naive still look a little creepy in a way, and there are many very creepy type clown costumes. He says there's a whole lot that goes into clowning, and often fear of clowns is just a misunderstanding. He hopes in light of the creepy clown hysteria, parents will talk to their kids about what he calls the art of clowning. It's completely disheartening to realize that an art form that should spread joy and, and, and passion and enthusiasm um, is being twisted to do the exact opposite, to cause fear and distrust. In South Burlington, Rachel Carr's NBC5 News.